In the sports, the National Rugby Sevens team coach Mike Friday is here to stay. Now that was the assurance from the Kenya Rugby Union chairman Mwangi Mude moments after the team arrived from Moscow where they finished fourth overall behind New Zealand, England and Fiji. The union was expected to deliberate on Friday's performance after the World Cup and Mude's assurance is a big relief to the rugby fraternity, especially with Friday's contribution to the game since coming on board. A heroic welcome it was for the National Rugby Sevens team on arrival from Moscow, Russia, where they reached the semi-finals of the Rugby World Cup last weekend. Beside the pomp and color, speculations about the future of coach Mike Friday clouded the World Choreograph reception by the team sponsors Kenya Airways, KRE and other stakeholders. Mwangi Mude, KRE chairman, confirmed that Friday is not going anywhere. We are not changing our sevens program because that's a plan that is working for us and is working for Kenya. We are servants of the game and we must work with a working plan. And Mike is deep inside our strategy from the beginning. He is deep inside our strategy. And his mission is not accomplished yet. Until you see that cup. With a very small pool of rugby players, we can do wonders. With very basic of facilities, we are doing wonders. The news was well received by the team members who believe they are yet to conquer the world despite their exploits in Russia. And they said Friday holds the answer. We will be like a family and if we lose one of us, well, it, that, that won't feel so well. So we are, we are like happy that he's staying. We've seen uh, what my friend and Manuel has done. It speaks for itself. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a major boost for us as players. And you can also see in him, the coach himself, he loves the game, he, he loves the team and he, he'll do anything for the team. It's good news since we, we still have goals to achieve. And we can we can use this this season to to work on them and actually achieve them. Sponsors KQ gave the team a check of nine hundred thousand shillings, where each player will receive fifty thousand shillings. The team is also waiting for the promise of a hundred thousand shillings by the head of state Uhuru Kenyatta for reaching the semi-finals. Victor Ogale, KTN Sports.